What's going on YouTube? Chris back with another video. Today we're going to be going over installing the Pixel Experience ROM for the OnePlus 7 Pro and also going through the ROM itself. Now this is only uh, released just a couple days ago. There, this is just the second build. Um, so if there are any current bugs with the ROM, um, definitely expect uh, an update to that ROM for those bug fixes or maybe new features even as well. So what you are gonna to wanna to go ahead and do, uh, just head over to the XDA developer forums, uh, download the ROM itself. Uh, you will of course need a TWRP recovery installed, your bootloader unlocked obviously. So having just installed a TWRP recovery, if you haven't checked out my previous video, I'll leave that link right here. So what you're going to need to do to install Pixel Experience is you're going to first go ahead and actually format data. So go ahead and type yes. We're going to go ahead and then reboot recovery. All right, and now what we're going to need to go ahead and do is do a factory reset. That's done. And now we're going to go ahead and actually copy over the TWRP zip installer and also the Pixel Experience ROM itself. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that over uh, because once you install the uh, Pixel Experience ROM, you have to re and, uh, reflash TWRP recovery over that so your recovery sticks basically after a reboot. Otherwise, if you don't, um, you'll lose your TWRP recovery. So we'll go ahead then and install the ROM. This will take a couple minutes and we'll be right back. All right, so the installation of the ROM is done. What you're gonna to need to now do is go ahead and install or reflash uh, TWRP recovery. It'll go and install it to both slots. Perfect. We'll be reboot recovery. And then if you want to install Magisk, uh, you can at this point. Um, installing Magisk 19.4 would be recommended. Um, and then after you flash Magisk, go ahead and then uh, just reboot system the first boot will take some time so don't worry if uh, it's a little slow that is normal for the first boot and there we have it i'll go ahead and go um, show you guys the setup real quick so i went ahead and input my information uh, here are just the next couple uh, settings that we can uh, go through nothing too different there unlock the fingerprint go ahead and next set up your pin okay and we'll go ahead and so the whole screen lights up um, it looks like as we can see here that is going to be quite annoying I think if this is true, I don't know if this is just the setup. We'll add another. So registering a fingerprint is actually slower here um, on this ROM versus like Oxygen OS. Oxygen OS is actually pretty quick compared to this from what I remember. Next. Google Assistant, no thanks. Always on display. Um, we can turn that on if we want. Lock screen info, okay. Done for now. Okay. Set up nothing out of the ordinary. Standard pixel uh, setup screen as you would expect. I'm gonna go ahead and put what I normally do on every Android device I use. It is turning down the animation scale to 50%. Here we go, buttons, disable lock screen, long press um, for torch, uh, long pressing the power button so we can, uh, on the lock screen, yep, okay. Volume key, that sounds cool. Gestures, um, swipe up, swipe to screenshot, three finger to screenshot. Uh, this is the Pi gestures, which I will gladly use. Status bar, can disable unlock screen. 
system icon so this is still brought over um, nothing different there for example okay okay wow so unlocking the the phone with your finger um, which is actually not too bad yeah I'm actually pleased with that so it's not like the whole screen is gonna if the screen is on like this and you go to unlock it yes it does that little quick flash uh, but that's not not too bad maybe that may be fixed I think other ROMs have that issue even as well pocket detection double tap the status bar to sleep there's a device theme we're gonna go ahead and put that to dark here we are perfect so that's even better than the pixel um, we actually have a dark settings menu which is great ambient display always on um, new notifications now playing we can turn that on so that's a great feature to have saving option awesome font size adaptive brightness we do have that on color settings color calibration picture adjustment so you can change your contrast and colors that you want digital well-being I always turn that off there's no point for me having that so if we come over to settings car ID spam so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get the the call screen feature that might be have to flash a, a magisk rom to get that enabled we'll have to wait and see maybe another video for another time but overall here's our gestures like we saw so if we have the screen off there we go so there's our long press and the power button to activate the torch Um, so I do want to actually have the ambient display wanting to actually tap to wake so tap double tap anywhere so yeah so there isn't really a way to just like tap to turn on the ambient display it seems like um, So yeah, so there's that. I mean, that's kind of unfortunate, but not too too much of an issue. It's just a little small caveat there. You got your color themes down here. Dark theme you can do default, or you can actually make it black completely. That way it's not that dark gray. You actually get a true AMOLED black theme. Then you can just change your, your accent color if you want. So you have your color settings there so if we long press home settings so we have our icon shape here suggestions as you normally would get at a glance we get those settings up here and then so yeah I mean this looks to be quite smooth um, I'll test drive this um, kind of see what sort of happens um, any sort of bugs that I might run into if you want to see an update uh, video on this let me know down in the comments below but overall looks to be uh, quite a very smooth ROM so far can't really complain whatsoever I mean now your OnePlus 7 Pro is a pixel I mean I okay so we have the camera that's one thing we did not actually take a look at all right, so it is using an old camera, uh, APK, um, so might have to just install. Um, so yeah, so it's basically just using a standard kind of AOSP APK for the camera. Might have to install the OnePlus camera um, and or install a G Cam um, in addition to over what's already here. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll leave a link to those that I use that I found a good one for um, down in the description so check that out something I did notice um, I went ahead and plugged 
the device into my warp charger. Initially it said charging slowly, but now it is saying charging. Um, so I'm not sure if warp charging is working or if it's just a visual bug that it doesn't say warp charging or charging rapidly. Um, I mean, that's up to you if that bothers you. Yeah, it's hard to tell at the moment if it's actually using warp charge, but I might do a follow-up video. If you guys have questions, I can do a follow-up video on this ROM. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.